the team for 1968. They're all new and all powerful. The whole team looks so good that they're sure to win in this league. Just wait until you see them perform against competition. Here's the leadoff hitter, Sport Satellite. Next in the lineup is this great utility infielder, rugged and big and very stylish, the Satellite Sport Wagon. Here's the real powerhouse of the team. You've got to see it in action. The GTX will outrun the rest of the supercars. Next in the lineup is that new fast rookie switch hitter, Roadrunner. And now that great superstar, Satellite. Take a look at this swinger, the new Belvedere. There they are. What a lineup. And what a season we're going to have. Now. Let's interview the team one by one and see what makes it so great. We picked Sport Satellite for the leadoff spot because it is the top car in Plymouth's midsize line. The big difference that sets a Sport Satellite apart is this, a beautifully recessed thin line front grille, plus luxury trim outside and inside. For example, these wood grain inserts in the doors of both the hardtop and the convertible are standard. There's also wood graining on the instrument panel. And as you might expect on such a sporty car, bucket seats in all vinyl with your choice of a center console or a center cushion. Eight color combinations are available. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out in a sports satellite. And I don't care if I never come back. Well, on with the winning lineup. Here is Butility, a combination of beauty and utility in the Satellite Sport Wagon. That's Butility, no doubt about it. You're looking at one of the biggest station wagons of all mid-sized cars, and certainly the best styled one. For example, the side panels, which resemble rich hand-rubbed walnut, are standard on this Satellite Sport Wagon. Brand new for 1968 is this tailgate, which lowers nice and flat like a tailgate should. But this one also opens like a door, providing easy access for rear seat passengers or for loading groceries. This two-way tailgate is standard on all the Plymouth midsize wagons. And while we're at the tailgate, let's look at an ingenious new option for 1968 station wagons, a built-in washer and wiper. Just touch a button on the dash, raise the window, and lo, the tailgate window is clean. How about that? Yes, how about that? But now, how about this? Here's the real cleanup hitter of the league, of any league. The name, GTX. Take a long look. There it stands, GTX. Turning on the starter of this one is like lighting a fuse. Then hang on. Here's the explosive. The mighty Super Commando 440 cubic inch engine, the standard engine in the GTX. As if that weren't enough, the 426 Hemi is available as an option. Wow. Those dual air scoops on the hood are standard. That black hood treatment and those special road wheels are optional. But all the sporty deluxe trim you see here is standard, even the red line tires. I can go on and on. Bright dual exhausts, red scotch light inserts in the deck lid, heavy duty suspension, firm ride shock absorbers, oversized brakes, 150 mile per hour speedometer, all standard on GTX. That one will get to third base on a bunt. I don't know what the initials GTX stand for, but I know what it goes for. Now this is Roadrunner. Our baseball fan called it a switch hitter because on one hand it is the smart but low-priced six-passenger coupe. And on the other hand, it is one of the hottest performers on the circuit. Let me show you how Plymouth makes a road runner. They start with a two-door coupe. But unlike most coupes, this one has a sporty hardtop roof line. They equip it with heavy-duty suspension and firm ride shock absorbers. They power it with this engine a Roadrunner 383 cubic inch monster with a four barrel carburetor, special camshaft, and dual exhaust. If you want still more zoom, you can get the famous 426 Hemi as an option. Next, they add racy air scoops on the hood. And of course, these red streak tires to hold the road better. 
Also, Roadrunners equipped with special 11-inch heavy-duty brakes for quicker stopping. Four on the floor is standard. Like the GTX, the Roadrunner is great for what it is, not for what you have to add on. Meep, meep. Meep, meep. That horn is standard. Didn't I tell you? They didn't name it Roadrunner for kicks. It'll run and run, but good. Now, number five in the lineup is next. That superstar, Satellite. Let me show you why this one will be a big crowd pleaser among the mid-sized Plymouths. First of all, Satellite offers the widest variety of models. There's this sporty convertible, plus a four-door sedan, a two-door hardtop, a two-seat station wagon, and a three-seat station wagon. Next, there's a wide variety of colors in the richly styled interiors of cloth and vinyl. Also, there are many colors and two-tone combinations in all vinyl at slight extra cost. When it comes to power, Satellite bats a thousand with five engines to choose from. What a lineup! Next up is a swinger, the Belvedere. Yes, a swinger in savings because it's the low-priced leader in this size Plymouth. But it doesn't look low-priced. For example, this inexpensive coupe has the doors and roofline of a hardtop, plus new tip-out rear side windows in the European tradition. Standard, no extra cost. Look inside. Attractive cloth and vinyl upholstery. There's nothing drab about the interior of this low-priced car. It's got a four-place look, and all vinyl is available for a little extra. How's that for a finale? And remember, it's backed up ably by a four-door sedan and a two-seat station wagon. As I said before, what a lineup. Let's go see what new goodies the team will offer for 68. I hear stories about magnetized mitts. No, that's a little far out. But let us run down the list of brand new factory installed accessories that are available. New, an eight track stereo tape unit that fits right into the instrument panel with the radio. New, an automatic speed control device that holds the speed you want through a simple button in the end of the turn indicator lever. If you use the brakes, just turn the resume speed control and you go back to the preset speed. New, a tachometer that fits right into the instrument cluster on the dash. And new, a light for the ignition keyhole that stays on for a few seconds after the front door is closed. New, too, is a map light on the instrument panel. Throw away your flashlight. Also new, vinyl roofs in antiqued green on green or gold on white as well as black. We have already talked about the super engines available in the GTX and the Roadrunner. Now here's the engine lineup for the rest of the Plymouth midsize cars. A wide, wide choice of power. All these Plymouths are built with famed unibody construction. One piece welded body and frame. No bolts and nuts to loosen and cause rattles. And all these Plymouths corner better, sway less, and ride smoothly because of torsion air suspension. Also available on all these Plymouths is the auto industry's most envied automatic transmission, three-speed torque flight. Smooth, efficient. Of course, all 1968 Plymouths have as standard equipment the safety features adopted by the auto industry. Last year, over a quarter million owners of other low-priced cars were won over to Plymouth. It started a movement, a momentum, a beat. And the Plymouth Win You Over beat goes on. Yeah.